Hey everyone, this is uh, video 14 of the series and today we are going to be uh, explaining a masked move. Um, and again, I've made a separate program so that we can focus just on the mask move, not on the entire program, just how the mask move is working. Um, and here's uh, some moves that you know from earlier and how we've used them is uh, in this case the green push button is pressed we're going to move a 91 into a dent that is called integer a and we're also going to move a 47 into uh, integer that is called mass integer so There we go. We press the button and you'll see that it went in there and you'll see them down here. Now, this is really not going to make a lot of sense uh, looking at it this way. Uh, it'll make a lot more sense if we look at the binary value. So uh, I'm going to go to the tags. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select integer A and I'm going to go right over here and say that I want to look at it as a binary number. And then our masked integer, uh, you can see again, this one is in decimal as well. I'm going to change that because I want to look at it in a binary value. And our integer B, uh, which will show up here in a minute, I want to see that in a binary value. And then I'm going to go back. And now you'll see that we're not seeing 91 as a decimal number. We're seeing it as a binary. Same with the 47. And you'll see these right down here. And if we look at integer B, there is no value in integer B because we have not uh, moved anything into that just yet. Okay, so... We have pressed the green button that moved a 91 into A, and there's the binary, and also moved a 47 into the masked integer, which is this one right here. And there's the binary. And you'll see that they showed up down here. Now how a mask move is working. The easiest way to explain it is when we run integer A through the mask, if it is a 1, it allows the value to come on through. If it is a 0, then it blocks the value. So just looking at this one right here, we don't have to worry about any of this up here because these are all zeros and we're not doing anything with it. Uh, this one right here. We have a 0 in our integer. We have a 0 in our mask. So that is going to block that 0. And since there is a zero here already, it's just going to let that stay. Same with the next one. So the next one is a one right here. The mask is a zero, so it's going to block that one. And it is going to leave this one down here as a zero. The next one over. This is a one. And this is a zero here. This is a one in the mask, so it's going to allow that zero to come on through. So, so far there's not much change. And then the there is a one in integer A, a zero in the mask, so it's going to block that. So this uh, these bits right here are not going to change. Now when we get to this one, uh, we have a one in our integer A and a one in the mask. So it's gonna allow that one to come on through. So this bit location right here will be a one. Uh, this is a one here, so that's a zero. The one's gonna allow it to go on through. So that will become a zero. And we have a one in integer A, a one in the mask. So it's gonna allow that to come on down. And that will end up being a 1 right here. And there's a 1 in integer A here. And a 1 in the mask, which will allow this to become a 1. 
So when we press the yellow button, uh, we should see that come straight on through. And there it is, just like we explained it. Uh, this was 00101111. Remember the ones let the let them come on through and the zeros block them. So over in this one right here, it was blocked. Take it out of run mode. There you go. So it won't, it, now it's still popping up. So we have a zero and a zero is a zero, a one and a zero is a zero. We have a zero and a one becomes a zero because it lets it go on through. And then this last one is a one and a zero and the mask, so it blocks it. And then when we get to this one, these are all ones. So it lets everything up here come straight on through. And that is how the mask move is working. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna make a few more videos to this series and hopefully it helps you out.